Declan, I'm sure you don't need me to remind you, Friday night after that McLean Oval, Irish Cup semi-final, how have the preparations been this week? They've been good, um, and again, you know, without without going too far on it, the players have really bought on over the last couple of weeks, uh, their application, their willingness to work hard and training has been fantastic, and I, re- I feel there's a really good bond between them, I think they're, they're uh, I keep saying it, there's a lot of talented players there, a lot of players with a lot of experience, right, you know. A lot of good, talented young players as well. When you see Lindsay and Russell coming back from under 21 duty, you know, you know, McToole made his debut last week. So there's a lot of good young players. Unfortunately, young Whiteman, who's a top, top young player in my opinion, um, picked up a knock at Dungannon. So we have a really good mixture in the squad. Um, their energy levels and their wellness, they have had a change over the last couple of weeks has been good. Um, but ultimately, it comes down to performance now. And it has to come down to, you know, we can train great all week, but it has to come down to the big show on a Friday night or a Saturday afternoon and making sure you give everything of yourself. And any match between Glentorn and Linfield draws a lot of attention. I'm sure you and the players haven't been short of opportunities to speak to the press this week, but even on the club's social media channels, there hasn't been a lot said. Why have you keen for that to be the case? It doesn't come any bigger. Irish football doesn't come any bigger than, than, than Glentorn against Linfield. Add on the incentive of there's an Irish Cup final place at stake. It certainly doesn't come any bigger than, than my opinion and Anne and the players' opinion because you know you work you work right throughout your career and you might be lucky to get the one cup final. Um, some players have been the one, some players haven't been the any. So getting the cup final is a career to find a moment, and it's something that everybody should be working in tandem to, to get there. As supporters, it doesn't come around every year either. So for me, for Friday night, it is about tactically being set up right. It is also about getting this place pointed. It's about making sure that this is an intimidating place to come for any opposition, not just Linfield, but we gotta get that fear factor about coming back to the Oval again and you know, the players will will bounce off that. Um, as I said when I first came on, I think it's about better unity, it's about, you know, fans giving everything to get us across the difficult moments and the players in difficult moments giving everything to give the supporters something to cheer on. So even though it's been kind of low-key, um, there's still time to really inject a bit of energy into this game on Friday night. And I know there's a lot of tickets sold. That's a real positive, as you would expect. But when we do fill this ground, uh, whether it's Friday night, whether it's the next league game or whether it's in the playoffs, it has to be it has to be energetic. And that's from players, from myself and from fans. just want everybody pulling in the one direction to help this team get across the line. In the month of December, we had a thumping win over Linfield here at the Oval. Then went to the National Stadium on Boxing Day when they had the upper hand. How much have you watched those two games? And I'm sure you'll not give away any secrets, but have you identified areas that you feel we can exploit tomorrow night? No, look, I've watched I've watched those both games in full. I've watched a lot of games. Um, I've watched a lot of Linfield games over the previous couple of days. But ultimately, they're, they're, they're both history. This club's built on history, yes, but ultimately, it's about the future. It's about the next game. It's about... Friday night, addressing the, the moments in the game of, of giving everything of yourself. You know, there's going to be difficult moments, there's going to be moments where both teams are on top, and it's how you deal with the fine, the fine margins of the game, I feel, will, will ultimately give more memories, either good or positive, positive or, or negative. Um, so we want to come out in a positive, a positive frame of mind, we want to come out with a positive result, but it's the minutes and moments in the game that will dictate that. So for the 4 0 game or the 2 0 Boxing Day game, gone, absolutely gone. It, it pays no, in my opinion anyway, it pays no, it pays nothing towards this game. This game will be judged on its merits. It'll be what team plays the best on the night, carries a wee bit of luck, and goes about their game plan in the, in the way that, that, that it'll be expected. And from a personal perspective, what are the emotions for you at the minute? Probably when this game was drawn, you had no idea that you were going to be the man um, here leading Glentorn into it. Probably the furthest thing from my mind, but now I'm here. I want to win. Um, now I'm here. I want to get to an Irish Cup final. I have had zero impact. The players have had the biggest impact in getting the semi final. I'm just here to help. I'm here to just try and get across the line. But um, everybody, as I say this week, has has prepared really well. Uh, ain't about me. Ain't about anything other than the players giving the best possible account of themselves. But. If you offer anybody an opportunity to get the NA's Cup final, they should be doing absolutely everything in their power to get there. Because um, it's a special occasion, and as I say, they don't come across too often. 
been very fortunate to, to coach and manage in, in, in FA Cup Finals, League Cup Finals, Scottish Cup Finals, Scottish Challenge Cup Finals. I've been, I've been around the top end of football for a while, but this would be something special if we can get across the line and get to an Irish Cup Final. And you've just come in from training with the players. While you were at training, we, we got the news then that the ground is sold out from the Glenthorn perspective. Um, I think you've probably already touched on it, but how much are you looking forward to seeing this place absolutely full and the green, black and red scarves and hats and, and shirts? Class, amazing, just amazing when it is like that. Um, and, you know, Not just coming along, but coming along and make a noise, coming along and really get behind the team. Whether we're one and drawn, losing, we, we, we need everybody. Um, this, can be, this can be the best place in the country. Um, we just, as I say... Everybody has a bit of ownership on it. The players have to own, own the performance of myself. Um, fans help us through difficult moments, but let's try and have a special night. It's going to be extremely difficult. Um, it's going to be a tough, tough game. I feel there are so many points ahead in the league for a reason, but it's a one-off game. There's a big prize at the end of it. Um, let's everybody pull in the one direction and get this plus points on Friday night.